The European bus system of the future, Test Bench, has been built with the objective to create a real and concrete IT architecture and to test different kinds of scenarios defined by all partners and based on the architecture specifications. The main goal behind is to validate the conformity and feasibility of EBSF developments with current and updated devices. When the bus turns on, all devices are automatically switched on and ready. This architecture based on zero configuration networking allows easy plug-in and monitoring. Applications are interfaced through the IP network using open standards like DNS service discovery. EBSF proposes a service-oriented architecture, meaning that each application can publish its services and subscribe to other available services to access to the shared data. The multi-application driver terminal is the common driver interface giving access to all onboard applications to the driver like an internet browser. The driver logs on through the MADT. A bus trip can be simulated by replaying vehicle data and GPS positions. Vehicle data transit on the bus fleet management system network and the EBSF architecture integrates a bridge to provide these data on the IP network. All the data feed the different onboard applications through the IP network. The MADT gives a real-time map view of the vehicle's trip. The Advanced Vehicle Monitoring System provides updated timetables. Passengers will get line and next stop information through the visual and vocal dynamic passenger information. Jean Ticketing uses AVMS services to localize validation data, while the MADT offers an interface for ticket sale on board. MADT can also display videos, for instance, showing images when doors are opening. The bus communicates with the ground through a single vehicle gateway. Every onboard application uses this gateway to communicate with its back office through different communication media, Wi-Fi, 3G, etc. For instance, each AVMS onboard communicates with its back office, which allows the back office to get a view of the whole bus fleet at the same time. Using standard protocols for ground communication allows a bus to switch between operators, meaning that the bus can communicate with another back office and, of course, the other way around. Another application based on EBSF IT architecture is the Telediagnostic. The test bench simulates the vehicle's defaults which are supplied to EBSF applications. On the bus, a Telediagnostic application is in charge of collecting vehicle's data, processing defaults and alerts which are sent to the ground. The back office sends alerts to the fleet manager and analyzes signals to manage predictive maintenance. Another example of an application integrated onto EBSF IT architecture is the Eco Driving. This application examines the vehicle's data coming from the bus FMS to the IP service and analyzes the driving profile. Then this information is displayed to the driver through the dedicated man-machine interface. EBSF proposes data exchange for AVMS and dynamic passenger information back office based on existing European standards, like Service Interface for Real-Time Information. Using the AVMS Integrator allows us to coordinate interoperable fleets and display integrated DPI at regional level. On the test bench, we have simulated three bus fleets running on three different bus lines. The EBSF architecture allows getting an integrated view of the bus fleet, the operation data from the three AVMS, are shared beyond the three systems, allowing a bus stop to display real-time arrival time from all operators. Connection management between different operators becomes possible. To conclude, the results of the EBSF test bench validate the feasibility of the EBSF specifications and demonstrate that this type of standard architectures can be integrated with current updated devices. It allows taking a step forward, standardization and deployment of these architectures.